Hello everybody, Rob here from Average Hobby, and today we're going to be op opening up the Warhammer 40k Combat Patrol for the Grey Knights. So we're going to do the usual, we're going to unbox, um, then in the second part of the video we'll have everything put together, we'll talk about the process of putting everything together, and then the third part will be obviously the money shots with uh, them all painted up in their silver glory. So, with no time of wasting, here we go, we're just going to open this up. And get right to it. Did I? Okay, so I was gonna say, I think I, I think I got it. Look at the back here, real quick. So we got some, uh, we got a strike squad, we got a brotherhood librarian, we've got a terminator squad, which I'm really excited for, and then we have uh, the nemesis dread knight as well, which I'm excited for as well. It'll be the, I think, the second tallest unit I'll have in my collection. Boom! There we go. So here is the Fiat book. There's like 12 models in this set, so... Wow, almost immediately it's like, hey, um, do you want A or B? Wow, okay. Okay, so it looks like the librarian is basically like only like four or five parts. Okay. Then you immediately go into the Dread Knight, which I'm assuming is going to be the bigger, or the biggest thing to, uh, to put together. Actually, it's not that many, wow, actually that was a lot faster than I thought it would be. Um, okay. I like how it's showing you everything after the fact to put together, I like that. Because what I'll probably do, depending on how it looks as I put it together, is do it in multiple part, multi, like little smaller sections. Uh, the knights are basically just like the old Space Marines from the looks of it. Yeah, with the little ball joint. So these guys are going to be super easy to put together and super fun to pose as well. Because you can basically pose them any way you want, which will be kind of cool. Well, there's a dude with uh, double swords. Some of the different variations down there, which I like. Oh, I am excited, excited, excited. So there we go. That's the instruction booklet. We got our bases. And we got, what is this? This is a sprue for the Dread Knights. I'm assuming that's the Librarian. Terminators, I'm assuming, just because of the way the backs are there. More stuff for the Dread Knights. And the Grey Knights themselves. Ooh, that's nice. I wasn't too sure what that was going to look like. And then... Uh, I can't remember what the squad is called, but they're the regular Space Marines, hence the Space Marine thing there. And the last base. And there we go. I'm excited for this. So what we're going to do is we'll cut in here, and in the next part of the video we will have uh, everyone put together, which... The Marines... Let's see here. Let's turn this real quick. Oh, I got my glue stuck to the thing there. So, these guys will be pretty quick to put together. These are the Strike Squad. Um, I'll have to double check the Terminators to see if they have ball joints as well. If they do, super easy to put together. Um, that guy we already know is only like, what, five or six pieces, so he'll be fine. So I'm looking at maybe a one-night job, depending on the Dread Knight. Uh, it looks like this could be a one-night put everything together. We'll have to see. Because I know these guys will probably take like 20 minutes uh, to put together. But we'll see. So with that in mind, I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. So first thing I want to mention, um, sorry about my voice. I currently have a cold, so my voice will be significantly deeper at the moment, <laughs> and I do apologize for that. Um, I'm, I, I, I sound like this when I get a cold. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, Grey Knights, the put together just like the old sets of year old year uh, year yonder uh, it's 2011 model set so it does show its age a little bit in regards to things like uh mold lines 
Um, a lot of mold lines that had to be cleaned up. Uh, injection locations were kind of weird. Um, to save myself some time when painting, uh, I'm going to show you the dread knight here. I did not glue the top of the bottom on, so it'll just be on there. And then when I go to paint it, I'm going to take that off. Um, this thing was super easy to put together. I'm actually shocked um, as to how easy this was. Though, I think they could have done the injections a lot better. But I mean, it needs to be updated. Uh, the Strike Squad definitely look their age. They look like Marines, Space Marines, from 20 years ago when I first started collecting. Um, I don't do WYSIWYG, I just like to make cool models, so... Oh, I forgot the backpack on these two guys. Uh, gotta remember to put the backpacks on those two. <laughs> um, overall though, I really do like the models. They look really good. Um, the Terminators went together flawlessly. Uh, the Strike Squad, a little harder to put together. Um, just because you have to try to find the proper arms that go along with each other and stuff if you're doing a little bit of a customization like I did. But overall, yeah, went together like a 20-year-old kit. <laughs> um, I love the old Space Marine kits, so this brought me back quite a bit, and I liked it. It was very nice, very good, very easy to put together. Um, like I said, it took me one night. Um, I do, when I prime my models, give them 12 hours. Usually I give them 24. Um, so I'm probably going to prime them tonight. Just They're, they're just going to be primed in white. And then I'm going to do silver and then a couple... Well, I'm going to do... Um, well, I'll, I'll go over the colors real quick. What I'm going to be doing... Well, what I think is going to be... The easiest... So what I'm going to do is I'm, once I'm done priming them in white, I'm going to hit them with plate mail metallic through the airbrush. Then I'm going to come back and hit them with the polished silver speed paint. Then once that's done, I'm going to hit them with the blue tone to make that nice little bluish metal color going on. And then I'm going to come back with the plate mail metal acrylic paint and just do a dry brushing to pick up all the highlighted details. And then I'm going to come back and do basically just the reds. Um, how I'm going to be doing the reds and the blues I think is a good idea. Keeping on the metallic feel. I'm going to hit them all with the metallic war paint so they keep that red. And then I'm also going to use elven armor for any blue spots, so the actual uh, blades. I'm actually going to do them in the blue, ta blue uh, metallic armor, but then what I'm going to do is come back after that and hit all the weapons and all the reds with this, the fairy dust. What this does is it keeps the metallic effect but it's like a white um, like a white metallic uh, airbrush or sorry um, uh, just, it's basically just like a uh, metallic white um, and what I plan on doing is putting you, I think back on here? Question mark? There we go. So the plan there is going to be basically to bring in some highlights on the blues and reds that I'm going to do. Um, then I'm also going to do some golds. And I'm still going to hit them with this, but this is going to be an all army painter uh, paint job, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, the bolt guns are probably going to be done in black. Um, yeah, so anything that's red is going to be done with a gemst the gemstone metallic. So this right here, you can see a nice little image of it, if you can make it out there. Um, don't have anything off the top of my head that I've actually painted with it yet. But yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how this is going to go. Let's move this back a little bit. There we go. But yeah, so there we go. So we're going to use mostly these paints for the base colors. 
blue for the shade, come back with the acrylic metallic to hit all my highlights again, do all the reds with the gemstone, any blues with the elephant armor, and then give everything a nice little fire brush, uh, fire br a fire brush, that's it. Give everything a quick little dry brushing with the fairy dust on the blues and the reds, and the golds as well. Uh, what I'm probably going to do with the golds... Is this here glitter and loot? I'm gonna use that one um, for paints and seals. And there's a lot of seals and banners and stuff, and uh, loincloths. Probably gonna go with a more of a beige color. Haven't quite picked the color out yet. That's why I don't have one yet. That's what tonight's all gonna all be about: is me picking up colors, picking out ideas, things like that for what I'm gonna use for what. And then hopefully I'll be able to uh, show you guys my wonderful ideas about uh, all the stuff I picked out. With that in mind, I'll see you back in a few moments with uh, everything painted up. Be right back. And we're back. Okay, so here we go. So here is everything painted up. To be 100% honest, um, after having them all put together, and uh, now having them all painted up, they're really good. A few things I really like. Um, well, first thing, <laughs> the thing I don't like. If you're a beginner, don't get these. Um, there is a lot of detail in these guys. I'll get, uh, for example, the librarian here, for example. The detail in these guys is... It's insane, is what it is. It is completely and utterly insane um yeah <laughs> um get one of the uh, the terminators here let's go for this one yeah the detail is crazy crazy Um, yeah, uh, the models themselves, I love these Terminators. Um, it's awesome. They're amazing. These guys, eh, they're okay. Um, I found some issues with posing, though I did obviously make these guys a little differently than they definitely were supposed to be. <laughs> I mean, they're all, they all have, you know, swords, even though they're not supposed to, but whatever. I don't know if I'll ever actually play with these guys, but. Yeah, overall, very good, very good, um, a little bit of mud splatter there by my thumbnail, by their feet, I like that, um, if you th oh, actually, hold on, let's get to, so this is actually my favorite thing, this guy took one and a half, uh, well, technically one night to paint, but what I like is you can just do, I kind of, I did a, uh, a little glue job, to this but yeah you can just do that paint this up two, two pieces separately and then look at that i don't know if i'm gonna get a good view of it that's just amazing like this thing right here oh so good so good um yeah um overall nice i do think the range needs a refresh though um I understand the lore behind the whole thing, why these guys wouldn't get the Primaris treatment. I understand that. But I think now that Primaris is out, these guys over here should be changed. Not the Primaris, but maybe more... Make them more knightly. Uh, maybe take... Uh, I think it's the Black Knight from uh, Battletech and maybe make them more knighty. If I can explain it, so leave the Terminators as they are, but make these guys more like medieval knights. Um, maybe take some of the old models from the old Bretonia, um, from Warhammer Fantasy, and kind of 40k up them a bit, and that would make a good replacement for these guys. Um, just because these guys, with Primaris phasing out the old Space Marines, aka these guys, um, I feel like. 
these guys are going to be kind of left behind a little bit. They're going to look really awkward. Um, the new Terminator models, if they could, I mean, that would be interesting because those are now to scale for both uh, Firstborn and Primaris. So if they would swap out those Terminators, um, theoretically, you could swap those ones out for these ones. Uh, the main differences would be the arms, though, would be kind of short and stubby. So I, eh, so yeah, actually, yeah, never mind. Wouldn't be able to do that. Um, but I think the range definitely needs a refresh. Um, definitely, it had some issues here and there with just like arm combinations and stuff like that. Like, you, it's the one thing I do like about the old, um, the old models is the I call it ball, ball and socket for the for the hips. Um, I liked it. It was it, I, you can turn them any way you want, have them any way you want. Like I mean, come on, look, look at this guy. Look at this pose. I mean, come on. Look at this pose. This is awesome. Um, being able to position the arms almost any way you want. I'm looking at uh, this guy and looking at it. I, I don't like the way his right his left arm is positioned because it kind of blocks off his face a little bit. But eh. all in all, though, not bad. Uh, definitely not for not for beginners. Um, if you're a beginner, stay away from these guys. Um, with that in mind, um, my son has come inside, <laughs> as you can hear. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate Appreciate you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.